today's Wednesday. Hot releases Friday. I figured I'd go through my account, give you all a quick account tour, and also give me a way to look back and see where I was before Hot started. Um, I'm going to go through my account medals first. I've world completed on Kosai, my main character here. You'll be seeing more about him later. Um, getting close on Carla, but those are the only two. Um, completed all the different uh, storylines. Priory, Vigil, Whispers. Did get my one legendary done. I do have Twilight. I'll show you all in a sec. World v. World Realm Avenger. Um, uh, we'll get that into that a little bit more too. Um, definitely not close to completing that. And um, I do have rank 80 Dragon uh, for PvP. Uh, so let's go through my characters real quick. Um, Kosa, my guardian, my main character. As you'll see, got the majority of my playtime once I uh, once I can get in the game and do some slash age. Um, Carla, uh, I'd call her my secondary character. She, uh, my necros, my sec uh, definitely my second favorite to play right now. Um, try to get into a few other classes. Uh, as, you see, uh, as you'll be able to see once I go through them all, I do have one of every class. Um, Men, my mesmer. Um, before I go any further into this, I will let you know that you will be seeing some uh, familiar names if you do like the uh, Wheel of Time series. Um, Bear, my warrior. The Rab, my ranger. Uh, my only Asurian character, uh, Ran, my elementalist. My only char character, Perrin, my engineer. My thief, and an extra character slot that I have a name saved for my revenant, which will be Lan. Uh, this won't be a char either. I'm considering Norn right now. Um, so let's uh, get into Kosai real quick. Uh, I don't really have anything to show off too much on any of my other characters. So first, let's get into the hero panel. I'll just go down the list here. Um, equipment. I do have everything ascended. I can go through all my weapons. I do have a Berserker set that I didn't make ascended. That's just exotic. I rarely use it anymore since I'm not running dungeons that much. Uh, but I do have full ascended everything else. Uh, if you're wondering why I stopped at uh, Agony Resistance 55, 70 is what you need to do level 50. Um, but I did get to Fractal's level 50. Um, by doing my level 49 and I just kind of stopped there. I, I, I will run some level 49s with friends to try and boost them up uh, every now and then, but we re rarely do uh, a level 50. Um, let's see. Wardrobe, I'll cover that later when I go into my bank. Uh, dies. I've kind of played the game uh, with the attitude towards dies of if it's one that I don't have, let's burn it and put it in my collection. Uh, so I, I did get a pretty decent collection of dies and you can see there's still a lot as I go down further um, that I don't have especially into the rares um, I did end up selling a lot of the pastels since I tend not to use those uh, if I did get those but anything that was you know below 10 silver on the marketplace was a definite if I don't have it I'm burning it uh, let's see what's the next outfits don't have too many of these. Uh, Royal Guard outfit, which is the one that we got for three year ancestral outfit. I bought that for my mesmer. Uh, did not using it anymore because I ended, I ended up coming out with the Daydreamers fi uh, finery, which I'm using on my mesmer and my necro now. Um, Hexed outfit was a Halloween uh, event series you could do and get it actually in game. What is it? Let's see, miniatures are next. I uh, haven't really gotten too much into the miniatures as far as any of the. Uh, ones that you can only get off the gym store or, the, we, or through the trading posts uh, mm -hmm. subsequently but I do have a lot of the ones that you can get in game from some of the events you can see the SAB you, know, uh, you can look at uh, the Yadra and you'll basically see the same thing when I get the finishers didn't really buy too much had to buy my uh, ninja stab guy right here People can say what they want. That's a ninja stabbing someone. Um, 
I did grab the shield one. Other than that, though, everything else I think in here is all stuff that you could get in game somehow. Um, this is the one for buying hot. Make sure that's set correctly. Um, the birthday finisher. I actually don't remember how I got that. Oh. Okay. Um, rabbit finisher through dragon finishers, all PvP stuff, and then the rest of these are just item drops. So not spending too much there. Mail carriers, same kind of thing. Got a few of these through the uh, Black Lion chest, and uh, kind of kept those. Or Raven, so I'm just sticking with Raven now. Um, build training, not going to get into that too much. I will sh uh, getting the training a little bit. They did confirm earlier this week that um, 400 will be what you need to train your spec uh, 100%. Uh, at 212, I'll be right uh, right above half of that. Uh, so as a, out of the gate, I'll be able to train Dragon Hunter real quickly. I'm not um, sure about this. I'll skip story because a lot of stuff in story is going to be in uh, achievements. I'll just jump into achievements real quick. Get straight in the story. 100% um, complete My on the season precious. two story stuff. I uh, wanted to definitely make sure I got all that. Uh, the this actually ties into some achievements from Silverway, so I wanted to make sure I got all that. Once I actually get into Silverway, so I'll talk about that more. Fractals, rich, you know. almost all of those, those one day, we and yes, I do know that you can easily just die and have your party do it. I just tend to forget once we actually get there. Dungeons, 100% complete here. This one right here is a repeatable one that it can be done an infinite number of times. And you can only do it a, uh, 40 times, I think, if I'm doing the math right, uh, before you stop getting uh, AP. Um, and I've done it as you can see right there 65 times okay. let's see next silver waste lots of these done uh, you can see got these last two I might burn these real de uh, real quick before a hot releases in the week I probably find a Delphi guide fo uh, follow that and get those real quick just really I've been farming silver waste and farming bunch of items and hoarding things and you'll see that as soon as I can open my bank uh, dry top kind of left dry top after the release silver waste and oh, I've rarely went back I need to start doing it again though one day to actually finish off some of my weapon collections Twilight Arbor Path played it a few I times sure kind of never went back I think the rest of these need keys I'll skip Slayer for now I want to cover that with Weapon Master uh, Hero mostly complete here actually all complete on this one uh, most of this stuff is from doing the different stories from the different races though so uh, as you saw when okay, I went through my characters I do have one of each so that kind of made that pretty easy tradesmen uh, I am kind of proud of these I did finish all of the uh, grandmaster crafts that could that are in the game right now the 500 level crafts and those are spread out across my characters um, I know Kosai is Armorsmith, Weaponsmith, uh, my Necro is Tailor, Artificer, Leatherworker is my Thief. Um, let's see, Explorer, most of this is going to be done. Another one of those where I just got to put in the time and get the rest of these done with some Dolphy guys somewhere. Um, fashion, haven't really bought too many of the racial armors, uh, especially with Ascended Armor coming into the game and them being account bound now. Um, the ability to switch characters in the same armor class is a little bit too nice for me and that's kind of stopped me from buying some of these racials because as soon as you uh, transmute that into a racial you can't change it unless it's the same race and the same armor class. I'm rich, you know. Weapon Master, I said I was going to uh, hold Slayer a little bit uh, until I got the Weapon Master and that's because it's right here, Longbow. Um, and a few of these others that we will be getting on uh, classes that I actually do play. You can see Dagger Master, I'm starting to go up. I have been world completing on my Necro, and she is Dagger right now. Uh, so that's starting to go up. But Longbow after release, I'll probably end up doing uh, the same thing as I did with a lot of the ones up top. Is grab my Longbow on my Guardian and start working towards some of these with the Longbow. And actually grind uh, two at once so I can use my time a little bit more efficiently. Community, uh, probably never get costume brawler. You see, I only got one. I'm not really a big costume brawler. Uh, the rest of these are just buy a lot of things. Uh, this one's actually 
pretty worth it too. Uh, 36 AP for sitting around drinking drinks. Uh, Hollow Monuments had this since day one. Not gonna cover that too much. Jumping puzzles. I have 100 percent on jumping puzzles, and I don't see that changing. Um, whether they, whether or not they come out with a achievement for the next jumping puzzle they come out with, I'll be doing that jumping puzzle. I love going through jump, the jumping puzzles with friends, um, especially when we have a mesmer. <laughs> Uh, triple trouble to quaddle you'll see the same thing on these i don't farm these enough to get uh to get these i, I probably should be playing these more uh, just trying to get the achievements but uh, i tend to go stick into places where um, i can get a little bit more return for on my investment um, i've been playing a lot of pvp lately too as well I'll see that in a second um, bosses i did hunt down all of these earlier in the game on the competitive side, PvP, this is what I was talking about. I started playing PvP pretty hardcore uh, right around the time they released uh, Hot because uh, it was an easy way to get some other uh, collections done, like the dungeon ones and things like that. I was also noticing that I was low on AP, wanted to start grinding through some AP, noticed how many AP you could get from all of these. If you start hovering over these, it's 100 AP. Uh, 46 AP 50 so it starts racking up pretty quickly um, the, uh, I haven't added up how much you get 1 through 80 for ranking up but it's it's a decent amount of AP uh, and when I first started you see I have uh, champion phantom phantom champion paragon paragon that's guardian for paragon and necro for phantom I had this crazy idea that I was gonna go unlock all these achievements for all the different classes and I gave up on that really quickly because uh, I could not get into the meta for any one of the other ones. Uh, World v. World, not going to have too much here. I will touch on Realm Avenger because they are not changing that one. Uh, the rest of these are going to go get updated with HOT to be actually doable. <laughs> uh, I say that because I think it was Yakslap or somebody did the math on and you could kill every Dalyak for the next five or six years or something like that and never get this. Um, achievement so um, hopefully after hot we can get some of these done um, Realm Avenger they're not changing because people actually have this one it's uh, a 250,000 kills in World v. World and as you see I'm just approaching the 50,000 right now Edge of the Mist um, another one where it's just gonna be spend some more time in Edge of the Mist and I can probably get some of these done uh, Sanctum and all the activity ones actually I'm not going to get into because I have hardly any done in there I'm not really big into the activities historical you can if I'd go through these most of these are going to be 100% I tend to uh, grab as many as I can and then if I can't figure them out jump on Dolphy and grab the rest of them whenever uh, an event is going on so that's my hero panel uh, let's jump into the PvP panels. Uh, like I said earlier, I've been, since February I've been kind of grinding this. Mostly because of the repeatable dungeon tracks. Um, see right now I'm doing Citadel of Flame. Uh, get into this. Necro, Guardian, definitely my uh, two favorite classes. Oh, I um, there. Since February, you could say I've gotten these uh, just over 1,100 games. Um, did not really play much. I think when I started in February, I had about 30 games. Um, so the bulk of this is since February. Uh, let's see. Let's go into World v. World panel now and check that out. Uh, just go this one. I'm at uh, 1075 right now. And from everything I'm reading, um, from the speculation, this should this? give me 100% unlock for World v. World uh, once Hot releases. Um, this is... Uh, actually should give me a little bit to play around with and anything else they come out with too so I'm kind of interested in seeing where that's going to go but that's World v. World um, let's actually open the achievement panel one more time because there's one thing else I wanted to cover in there uh, my count bonuses I'm getting to 200% magic fine I've been fighting with myself on whether or not before fr uh, Friday which is probably the first time I'll touch hot um, if I should spend some money on the trading post grab a bunch of ecto salvage them for luck I'm and sell the uh, the it. dust to see how much I can get back um, trying to get closer to that 300 mark um, let's see hover over this real quick uh, permanence is uh, 10,000 
Um, my daily and monthly could definitely be a lot better. I have not been uh, diligent at all doing that, and specifically before the changes where you could get 10 AP per day, I definitely could have done a lot better on that. Same thing on the old monthlies, I still could have got a lot more on those. I don't want to touch too much on my inventory, but I, I do want to touch on some of the reusable daily items I have. Um, Maudry, Star Gratitude, and Princess, you'll see when I, when I get into my bank that I, I've been hoarding these items, but uh, before the release of uh, Hot, and actually up until about a month or two ago, I was burning these daily. Uh, Karmic Converter, grab that from a collection. I'm rich, you know. Mystic Forge Conduit. Uh, about 50 gold in the marketplace right now to put it together and it's great to be able to just pop a mystic forge whenever you uh, whenever you want uh, Birthday blaster. I want to touch on this. I know a lot of people have them Hopefully you didn't get rid of them and I'll just pull up the trading post real quick and um, Kind of get into the food so we can talk about exactly what I was talking about there But if we get in the food we start searching candy corn a lot of people are advocating it's going to grab something like this with a plus 15 percent experience from kills the bonus from the birthday booster the birthday blaster sorry is actually a plus 15 so you don't have to spend any money and you'll still get it now you won't have to use it every now and then but it's 100 percent free 100 percent reusable just have to watch it uh, it's a 10 minute instead of like the normal 20 30 or 45s um, I carry only the highest one thing i want to cover again in my achievement panels uh, the collections I did miss, I want to save this for last because it's going to roll right into some of the stuff we talk. I'm going to talk about in my bank and my wardrobe, is uh, collections. I did a lot of these. How's it going? I want to touch on the luminescent ones. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Silverways, got all the luminescent ones. You'll see when I get into rare collections that I do have bioluminescent, so I have the full set on there. Still working on the last two no, for my dungeoneering title, which is uh, unlocking every skin from every dungeon. Uh, you kind of screwed myself over on Codicus with some of those 30 games that I had said I played in a long time ago in PvP, back when they would give uh, random skins. Uh, I actually ended up with a lot of uh, the weapons and none of the armor, so I'm actually in a tough position for the tracks the way they work, considering that you get three weapons and one armor piece per time you run it. So I'm having to do a lot of dungeon runs of CM right now. Um, I think that's the only ones I think are worth touching on right here. Oh, one, a few that I'd point out if you haven't gotten them yet. Utility utilizer, fine dining, things like that. If you can get them, you get some really useful items, these little uh, primers. Um, rare collections. I'm rich. Went unlock all of the ascended armor. Um, exotic hunter. This is what's going to give you that karmic converter. Uh, bioluminescence. Spending a lot of time in Silver Rays getting all the skins. And uh, this is actually... One of the reasons why I have the story uh, achievements done as well. You see I'm 6 of 8 of Dungeon. Like I was saying, I only had 2 left. I'll probably continue working on this a little while little over time through PvP. Um, Treasure Hunter, not worth buying the rest of these right now. It's just most of the stuff you'll see in here are skins that I've either gotten in a drop or gotten from Fractals. Uh, are they are the karma ones that are really cheap to go buy from a karma vendor somewhere uh, oh, at one time I thought about rushing this and I heard from someone that the treasure chest isn't party wide one of the things I like to do in my home is and bring friends in let them grab all the nodes that I have in there they wouldn't be able to do that with the treasure chest uh, some of these items especially like Sam before they fixed the ogre uh, event chain in fields of ruins was over 400 gold alone uh, not to mention when you start throwing in some of these other rare drops uh, definitely not worth the time uh, black lion stuff really didn't get into that too much um, wanted to grab the gallant weapon sword it uh, looks the most like a gothic sword from guild wars one which i loved using on my warrior back then um, i don't think there's any thing in the game and i doubt they'll probably come out with anything else that looks close Phoenix Weapon, this is one that if they ever come back with one token apiece, I'm probably going to buy as many as I can at the time. Um, regret that I didn't have more uh, tickets at the time to be able to go and grab stuff. I'd love to grab the shield, love to grab uh, the focus, uh, mace. 
My time is precious. Bloody Prince, this was actually a gift. Bloody Prince staff was a gift from a friend uh, last Christmas, I think it was. Uh, so uh, I use that exclusively, actually, on my uh, Guardian and my Necro. So uh, can't thanks, can't thank him enough. Just move straight into my wardrobe. Now that we were talking about that, I'm I don't want to sure cover too many of the skins. Um, there's not many that are outstanding. Uh, one thing I will say, if you're Good if you're thing. just looking for skins and you got an extra character slot with Hot coming out, go through the different character classes and grab the things like the Demon Mask and the Skull Mask. And I think there's an eyepiece in here from Engineer, for example. What is it? Uh, all the different, a lot of the different classes will have items you can pick while you're going through your character creation screen. Just use one character slot, create the uh, character a bunch of times, and it'll unlock these skins for you. Uh, I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom because I think the only thing I want to cover throughout all this is the back piece. Uh, one thing I did finish, and I'm hoping it helps me with the uh, legendary sure back piece, is I did finish the uh, fractal back piece. Turn that on and show that. That is the fully upgraded 500 ecto back piece. Uh, hopefully that will help. And you can see I did buy a few of them, Rox's Quiver. I bought that as soon as we found out that the longbow was confirmed for the Guardian. Um, that may actually show that back piece, because if you've noticed, I really don't show one. Uh, a lot of these right here are going to be either the crafted ones or the uh, uh, any event things, like holographic wings and shatter. I got a lot of those just through uh, events. Go through the other tabs, material storage. I've been hoarding things, so you'll see thousands and thousands of uh, of things there. Bank tabs. I bought a few extra bank tabs. You can see I'm hoarding things again. Uh, lots and lots of rings, like anyone else who's done any fractals. Uh, hopefully, uh, come Friday when I can actually get into the expansion, precious. I can quickly get me some extra storage by killing some of these. Uh, and getting some of those new items that you can get from those. Um, I, we'll touch on this because I think a lot of people should have been doing this. And uh, I've had not been doing it long enough. And I haven't been getting my dailies done enough lately, actually, unfortunately. Um, from what I've been told, 80 potions is going to give you one reward track. So uh, come Friday, I can grab one of those new reward tracks and finish it completely. Um, let's see what else. Been hoarding tomes of knowledge from pvp my time is precious and black lion claims of course just in case they got some st uh, good items come out create a new tab and last but not least with my newly created tab I've just slashed aged and now you can see why I said this is my main of my 3000 of my 4000 56 hours played I've got 3175 hours on this character um, getting my other characters to level 80 getting my necro closer to world completion that's gonna be where most of those hours are gonna come from I think I've got about 400 on my necro and I'm probably about the same on my uh, warrior maybe a little bit less because I did start doing world completion on her um, I guess the last thing I want to show is uh, my home instance, and I'll just uh, do that real quick by popping this home portal stone. I won't run through it, but uh, we'll zoom in on the map so you can kind of see. This is everything that came on the uh, trading post. Well, not the trading post, the actual gym store, sorry. The everything that came on the gym store I have available to me and all of my friends that come every day and grab all these notes. Um, luckily, I was able to get most of that with gym to gold, uh, gold to gym conversions earlier in the game. Let's see. Let's uh, hop out of here. Let's open up the world map. Yeah, I can see I got 100% world completion, and I did go back and get all of the uh, extra stuff that they added into the game. I did have world completion before they added some of the um, extra 
points of interest and vistas and things like that, and waypoints to things like um, Plains of Ashford, for example. I know there was one in there that I ended up having to go back and grab. But I think that's it. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment or hit me up on one of the sites that I have linked on my YouTube channel.